I deal with so many overachievers, you know, not only overachievers, but people have a concert and they get nervous, so they start adding in the extra hours of practice, so sure. panic sets in, and then pretty soon an arm is inflamed or a shoulder hurts, and uh, no, no, I got this concert, I gotta keep going. Um, and sometimes they get themselves into serious situations. So yep. how do you know when to push through and how do you know when to pay attention? Yeah, good question. I think um, we see that a lot. And you know, I know in our practice, we try to not restrict our patients from going out and doing something uh, because many times they're going to disregard our advice anyways and go out and do it. So it is important That's to- my job. Yeah, it's, it's important to recognize the symptoms, Paul, and um, you know, having a, a team of people that you can rely on um, to help get you through some of those times. It's okay to have pain. Um, you know, that is uh, typically, we refer to it as an output of, of the brain, and it's real, and it's okay to try to work through some of that in some cases, but it's also important um, to have your, your local healthcare provider, whether it's your, your doctor, your PT, your athletic trainer, um, massage therapy, chiropractic, acupuncture, whatever, um, you know, having that individual to help you um, kind of identify and work through what might be causing what's going on. Then you can come up with strategies, you can come up with a plan of attack, um, which hopefully will allow you to, to maintain those, those long hours of, of practice and in play. Yeah, okay, yeah, in my experience, I guess maybe I have this sense of responsibility when a student comes in and they're hurting here or there, but um, I don't feel it's okay I mean, uh, yes, we're all going to have pain. It's part of living, Yep. right? But I don't think it's okay for a cellist coming in to uh, ignore a, a specific pain that would be related to a mechanical motion on the instrument. Sure. I think that that usually uh, means that there's excessive tension somewhere. I mean, sure, there could also be a muscle weakness or a muscle imbalance or something such as that, but even if it's that, I yeah. think they have to address it. still that. should be addressed. It's, it's, yes. um, it's similar to my, my distance runners getting ready for the marathon that have you know, patellofemoral pain or IT band issues. It's similar to the college baseball player that comes in who's pitching that has long-standing shoulder pain that doesn't go away in between starts. It doesn't mean they're not going to make their next start, but we have to manage that individual um, in a way that's unique to them yeah. so that we can come up with a, hey, this is what we think might be going on. This is what we can do to manage it. Um, let's check in and we do that regularly, whether it's phone or email or, or face to face if we're, if we're close enough. Um, and oftentimes that, especially in the, in, the, um, in the belief system of the user, the individual that's playing the instrument or the, the athlete that's doing the movement on the field or on the court, they sometimes need mentally, they need that, um, that, that ability to relax and know that it's going to be okay, and, and this is something that we can get through. So, you know, I, I think that's something that, um, that, that many of us that do this for a living can provide that, um, you know, mentally has, has equally as much weight as what we can do with them, with them physically as well.